My name is Aria Dean, and I'm an artist uh, based in New York. I'm from Los Angeles, California, originally. Um, and I usually work in sculpture and film and video. I studied art at Oberlin College, um, art and philosophy and architecture. And that kind of was the beginning of my interest in architecture, which you'll see, uh, or sort of comes through in, um, in this project, um, which sort of started with an investigation of um, the slaughterhouse from the 19th century into the 21st century. So the space, I guess, like, it, it takes my you know, ongoing concerns of sculpture and the moving image and technology um, and applies those to a specific infrastructure and architecture, the abattoir or the slaughterhouse. So Abattoir USA, sort of the, the seed of it, the kernel of it started with a lot of writing I was doing around um, the French philosopher Georges Bataille's work on base materialism, um, ideas around the sacred, the profane, really just places where um, productive processes um, occur that allow us to understand society as something um, that isn't relying upon like abject processes such as um, animal slaughter, but just as just as well like violence in general, right? That we kind of need to put those things um, elsewhere in order to like imagine that our world can function in a sort of, I guess, with a sense of etiquette. Looking at all this about like modernism, infrastructure, the history of animal slaughter philosophy, but the goal is always to compress those things into a sort of just poeticized experience, rather not to make a, a documentary about the slaughterhouse, let's say. That would be an entirely different venture. Um, but really to sort of join these concerns with my ongoing interest in a critique of the subject as we've understood it in the West for a long time. So the slaughterhouse really is this place where human, animal, and machine coexist, are involved in like this, yeah, this material process the idea of like why are we human and not animals that like the slaughterhouse is a part of our constant reproduction of that distinction um as well as our distinction between machines and humans or machines and animals so the project um essentially presents a walkthrough of a slaughterhouse so the film positions you in a sort of like first person point of view um first person point of view is meant to make you feel like you identify with the camera so the camera is positioned in something like an animal's perspective as you go through the linear process of slaughter, but it also kind of detaches itself from that perspective in certain moments, um, becomes just the camera's view, or maybe it can be the machine's view, or, you know, there's also sort of the larger authorial view of me as the artist. So it takes you through this, like, ab entirely um, digitally rendered version of a slaughterhouse, which also is a necessity in terms of, like, it's very hard to access these spaces and, you know, couldn't get into one, especially in the U.S., where, like, the conversation around meat processing is like very politicized and, and complicated. Um, but also in order to create a sort of generic slaughterhouse that combined 19th century, 20th century, and 21st century elements, and also allowed us to shoot in a way that, you know, I won't, I won't spoil it, but like there's certain moments where you wouldn't be able to access like certain spaces that we go through in, in the process of it. And so in the beginning, there's this crystal palace style like ceiling that for me it was like kind of this the project really is like in some ways dealing with the 19th century or right? like a lot of the the spaces in like especially in france that um like where slaughterhouses like have share architectural elements with places like in the sort of more like world's fair style or like botanical gardens because just the period of like development so kind of it was a shout out to that history and sort of the i guess again like conflation of or, or like overlay of like sacred space and profane space or like spaces of like commodity fetishism and industry but then like the things that you know slaughter that slaughterhouses and that is all part of the same series of processes which also leads into like if you were to map it like equally into colonialism and then also like technological development and, and like leisure so it's like all these things are part of the same thing so I think that was really the hope to sort of smash all of that together in the same space so, so Avatar USA, while it's a film, it's also an installation. And so when you experience it, you're standing in sort of a almost like scrambled version of the um, interior architecture that you're in or that the, that the film takes place. And so the floor is replicate the rubber floor, like non-slip flooring of the spot slaughterhouse space. The walls are sort of painted in a way that sort of like at the very least calls up some of the colors that you see in the film. And so you enter the space you recognize that 
you're watching this thing, but also the space that you're in, and also the doors, of course, that I'm in front of. Um, those you see those in the film too. So it's like there's this doubling that creates like the exhibition as a set as well, and so hope hopefully forces a sort of reckoning with yourself as a subject, not just a subject interacting with this thing, but just like putting you really in an intense awareness um, structurally of like the fact that you're just where you are. You know, some people have experienced it and really been, I guess, really empathetic to the animal. Some people feel very tethered to the sort of technical like feeling of the camera work. And so the hope is that people experience it you know, bring to it, yeah, their experiences, um, their interests.